everybody. Thanks for stopping by today. Tuna melt sandwiches. Man, I grew up eating tuna fish sandwiches, and occasionally I would make these tuna melts. And normally I wouldn't put cheese on a tuna fish sandwich, but you can if you want. But for a tuna melt, it really gives it a great flavor. It doesn't take long to do this. You just need some chunk light tuna and throw in some other goodies like onion, celery, apple, some eggs, and some lemon juice. Real tasty sandwich for lunch or dinner, so let's get started. Now first I just want to dump my tuna in a strainer. I want to get most of this water out. And once I get it all in there, I'm going to line my strainer with some paper towels, put the tuna back in that, and just give it a good squeeze to get as much of that water out as possible. The reason I want to do that is because when I go to make this up, I don't want a watery sandwich. Just give it a good squeeze. Pour it in a bowl. Now I like to take a fork and flake it up. That's just a personal preference. I don't like big chunks of tuna in my sandwiches. But once you get it broken up, just add some mayo. Add as much as you like. Add your onion, your celery. And this is what my grandmother used to do. She used to throw apple in there. Give it a good squeeze of a half of a lemon pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, throw in your chopped up boiled eggs, and give it a good stir. Next, I've got some room temperature butter. I'm just going to butter one side of each piece of bread. I've got my skillet on medium heat. Just put the butter side down. Let it sit there for a couple of minutes. Top it with some cheddar cheese or your favorite cheese. And then put your tuna fish on top of that. Add some more cheese. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to eat this one. Top it off with your other piece of bread, butter side up. After a couple minutes and your bottom side is golden brown like that, cook it for another two, two and a half minutes until the other side is golden brown and serve it up, guys. Like I said, I know most of you probably eat tuna fish sandwiches in your lifetime. Maybe you haven't had a tuna melt. Give this a try. It's real simple, it's real easy, and it's so delicious. Guys, if you like this video, I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Comment if you like. Tell me how you make your tuna fish sandwiches. But until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, y'all.